Hey guys, Motor Car Nut here, and today we're going to talk about the Volkswagen 2.0 Turbo TSI engine found in the uh, Tiguan, the Passat, the EOS, uh, the Jetta, and Audi's A A4. Um, any engine, any uh, car that's going to have the 2.0 TSI engine. All right, I'm going to give you um, uh, the top. Three failures of this engine that is going to cost you a lot of money. If you don't make, if you bought a car, watch out for the three top, top three, okay? The number one is timing chain tension of failure. I have videos on, on explaining what it is. If, what it, it's, it destroys the valves and I show you where it is. Uh, it's in here and what it looks like and everything like that. And uh, you want to check that video out. It's a time and chain tension of failure. Okay. What that's going to do is the, the um, time and chain tension of strips and causes the chain to be loose. And then it, uh, instead of being all in timing, when the pistons come up, the valves are still open. It hits the valves, smashes the valves, and sometimes it can chip the piston. And the whole engine is going to have to be rebuilt or replaced depending on your uh, capabilities. Okay. That's a, a, a big issue. That's the, that's the number one that's going to cost you a lot of money. Number two, the PCV positive crankcase ventilation valve is right here. And this valve, when this valve goes bad, all right, it creates a massive suction inside the engine. And now the engine is trying to get that, that vacuum, that air from somewhere. And where it gets it from is the cheaply made rear main seal. And why I say cheaply made is, if you look at this seal, all right, it goes on the engine this way on the rear of the crank in between the transmission, okay? It breaks, it's actually just glued on. This, I took it off, this was still on the uh, crank, all right? This is glued on. And I know you, you old timer guys are going to know what I'm talking about. When you see a seal, you see a spring inside the seal. There's usually a spring, you know, to keep tension on it. Nice. Not even is there no spring. This type of what they call a seal is just flat. There's nothing to it. It's just bent. It's just bent up and hopefully it'll hold. That's, I, I guess that's their uh, conclusion. And to top that off and make matters worse, why don't we just glue it on instead of press it in nice? No, glue it. Okay? So what happens, all right, from 40 to 50,000 miles onward, or usually age is more important than um, mileage, is that when that PCV valve goes, it creates, it, it, it wants to suck air through this cheaply made um, get, uh, seal, and it breaks the seal. And now what that's going to do Especially if you have an oil leak, and what that's going to do is it's going to it's going to blow the seal out. If the seal's going to leak, and now you have to either take the transmission out, which is easier than taking the engine out, but that's still a big job. You have to take that out to replace the seal because of a blown PCV valve. All right. Now I have videos on the PCV valve too. How to check it? A fast way to check it. I'll tell you in this video. There's a little vent here with the engine running. If this has suction, that means the diaphragm in here is ripped. You better replace it. If especially if you don't have any other leaks anywhere, you're good to go. Replace this before you're going to have to separate the engine and the transmission to replace the rear main seal. And number three, what I say, it's not so much catastrophic, but it can cause all kinds of misfire codes and drive you crazy is this plastic plastic manifold all right it has right over here a weak spot okay this is the intake there's a runner in there you see how this thing pops out when that pops out like that that creates a massive va massive vacuum leak all right and that's broke and a lot of times they have these kits you put a kit in here a uh, little, don't buy that kit. It's where it's like sixty dollars. It's a piece of junk. You, what you do is you just take the manifold off. You can even get a cheap one off of Amazon or eBay or even a, a factory used one that's good, as long as that's good, and replace it. 
All right, you're gonna you, if you're gonna get that little tool that they make over here, a little little repair kit. That's just that's just the um, you know, it's a matter of time that's gonna fail again. All right, so let's take this off. Let me show you. See what this does. This pops out. All right, and it creates a massive air leak. So, because this. These runners, this is vacuum actuated. See, the, see how they move? And also they get all crudded up. And the valves in here, which is a, could be number four, but the valves get all carbonized because they just run dirty. I mean, these engines are designed, you know, for emissions and it just pumps everything back in the cylinders to get reburnt. But it's just a dirty design, this particular engine. And what it does... It builds up, even here, let me show you. If you can see in here, you see all the crud in there already? On this one over here, you see that? You see that? And what it does is, when the engine's cold especially, the valves don't close all the way because of the carbons underneath there. It's just like gooey and, and the only way, to, a lot of people want to use uh, aftermarket cleaners and everything it's just not going to work you can use whatever you want i keep telling people about other products you know it's just wishful thinking this basically has to be either walnut blasted that's another one or with this engine i the valves are bent so i'm just going to take them out and clean it physically take the head off but they do have a walnut walnut blasting uh procedure i never tried that one i usually just take the heads off and, and do that and clean them that way but you can you know do that if you get misfiring codes and it's running really bad. That's probably what it is, the carbon buildup. All right, so those are basically the top three. The, the ones that cost you the most money is the uh, time and chain failure, time and tension of failure, I'm sorry. Then the, uh, the rear main seal. Other than that, if those were replaced cars and the engine's maintained, they're good, they're good engines. They have a lot of power. There are many, many, many cars. It's just that, you know, they do have these these um, these problems that regardless of how the owner maintains the vehicle, it will fail. So that, to me, is a manufacturer flaw, not a consumer flaw. All right, guys. Motor car up. Please subscribe. Hit the like button. Any questions, leave them below pertaining to the video. I answer all my questions. And I'll see you guys in the next video. I appreciate all the comments and all the support to the channel. Thank you, guys. I'll see you next time.